Ho, ho, ho. Hi, I'm Mark Weiss, and I'm the Logistics Element Manager for NASA's Gateway Program. And this is Ask NASA. We're here to answer your questions about Gateway. All right, let's get to the questions. First one we've got in the mailbag. Why can't we just land on the moon? We can, we did that already. Gateway is not about just landing on the moon. Gateway is about giving us access to the entire moon and doing it in a reusable, sustainable manner. Gateway is our command and service module that will enable us to explore the moon. It's a small spaceship and it enables us to dock Orion, get down to the surface of the moon and practice at a place that's really close so we can eventually explore beyond to Mars. All right, next question. When will the first module be ready? So Gateway's first module is the power propulsion element, right now scheduled to launch by the end of calendar year 2022. That's what allows us to have all the power to start to assemble Gateway and be ready for a 2024 boots on the moon. <laughs> Will the Gateway have cameras so people can watch live action? Scientists love pictures. But so do you, right? We want to share this with the American people. In this world of hashtag what's going on with Gateway, we want to share that with everybody. We will definitely be sharing what we're doing to go down to the surface of the moon and living aboard Gateway. <laughs> what's your favorite sci-fi character? Darth Vader. If the moon was made of cheese, could you smell it from Gateway? No, because the smell won't travel in space. How far is Gateway from Earth? It's far. Gateway's in deep space. So we all can see space station fly above Earth. It's a couple hours drive equivalent above us. And when the sun reflects, those solar rays are huge. Gateway's nowhere near that size. And it's a quarter of a million miles away at the moon. So it's going to be much harder for us to spot it out there. Are we taking science research to Gateway like we do with space station? Absolutely. So we want to definitely take advantage of that environment out by the moon where there's less interference of what's going on here at Earth so we can study the planets beyond. What's your favorite part of your job? The people. Always the people. We work with amazing people. NASA's an amazing place to work. How many astronauts does it take to change a light bulb on Gateway? None. They don't live up there all the time like they do on space stations, so we have to develop the right intervehicle robotics to make sure we can do this without them even being there. How will air and water be supplied? So water's not coming in bottles like this. That's the challenge we have to set up a commercial supply chain to deep space. We don't have a rocket launching every single day. So we have to figure this out and make sure we have everything our crew needs. Supplies, science equipment, and all the equipment they need to go down to the surface of the moon. And the air they need to breathe. Where's my eggnog? Did someone take my eggnog? It's got EVA mittens. Do you have a question for NASA? Send your questions to our experts using hashtag AskNASA.